Okay, hello dear friends, good evening. Last night I did this painting, Acrylic Ocean Waves. So um, I would like to share with you my working process and my thought on it. So to begin with, I prepare the colors. I am first not knowledgeable about color. Second, I'm not picky about color. So I choose all the blue color that is available on my, uh, in my uh, palette, and this is acrylic. So I was thinking making a, a grayish blue sky. How do I make it gray? So I found some this violet color and it has uh, warmth in it. So I was thinking to blend it together. And, um, and it's quite interesting actually. It's, uh, um, it has more layer of color and more variation of color. So your hand stroke is very fast and very s swift and very determined. And uh, painting is like our human being of uh, like people. A good looking woman is uh, a confident woman. A good looking painting is a confident painting. So I, uh, at school when I did this painting, this kind of painting, I used a sponge. And I didn't have sponge handy, so I used some paper towel. <laughs> And um, whatever method, be creative and uh, get the paint on the canvas. So first layer, I made the sky. And uh, as it goes down, the, there are more um, darker color of the deeper ocean. The, this is the, the, the darker blue, are actually, what I suppose to be the water. And the top, which is not very even, that purplish, violet, and grayish, and light color are supposed to be the sky. And uh, when you get enough color, get some color, you never get enough color, actually. You start to, to get a wave stroke. And uh, <coughs> one thing about painting is that uh, your hand gesture follows the movement of the subject you are painting about. I'm painting a wave, so the wave curls up. So my hand gesture is also curls up. And uh, this canvas, as you can see, as you can see, is actually um, uh, a, a recycled canvas. And uh, there was some painting done, and uh, and uh, and they throw it away. I covered it with white color, and start to use it. And the wave, there are white strokes because when the water moves, there are these white colors comes out. So I start to use some white, some light blue. You can use, once you have the, the main trend of color fixed, now you can add in some different color. For example, I have uh, added in some, um, some white, some darker blue, and um, so that it has this uh, uneven wave, right? You do not want your wave to be exactly uh, monotone or one movement. It's actually thousands, millions, gazillions, Googleplex number of water drops moving together to make this wave. And... Uh, and uh, be brave and be generous and be really generous on using the color, especially when you want to cover the darker color, the darker blue with the white sparks. So apply a lot of color and it's actually um, a clumps of color. It, uh, has a very, it has a very thick texture, layers of color. And it's also very fun to 
to do this. And uh, there are waves here and there. I also use some pellet knife to try it. I was thinking it could be fun to use a pellet knife. So that's about it. The movement and um, and um, you, you, you have to follow your heart. And there is no end. What is the right? What is the wrong? And uh, you get the idea what nature should be. And the rest is your experiment and your expression. Painting is like this. Before it is pretty, it is always ugly. And uh, when I do class, when I teach class, students very often time give up at the beginning because they see it is not pretty and then throw it away. Do not do this because before it is getting beautiful, it is always ugly. The process is is a walking process, is your magic. That miracle moment is you have to work it out. It's like your hair going gray. You dye it, you get a, um, you get a, um, a colorist to give you advice and suddenly you are always good, you, you are always perfect. It's, uh, there is no joy. You have to suffer, you have to struggle, you have to, to work out something that is good from the stage when it is ugly until you finally work it out. At that moment, bing, everything okay. That moment is very empowering and endearing. Okay, I'm talking too much, and this is the process. And uh, keep painting. You do not fail a hundred times. You cannot say the word that beautiful painting comes from ugly. When you go to see exhibition, they are always perfect. But you do not see, we do not see the ugliness before it is getting this pretty, this good looking. So... Give yourself the chance, give your, yourself the, the opportunity to try to fail. Give yourself the, the privilege to try to fail. And give yourself the luxury to try and to fail. And be brave and get ready to fail. And that is very, very important. That is very, very powerful. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the process. At least you can, you can get some of uh, the internal experience. This is, uh, this is the, 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 the sound from the heart. Thank you very much. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do.